G'day! In today's video I've got a Lenovo Chromebook. Not sure which particular model this one is. But I think the sticker's non-existent on the bottom. I'm certainly not seeing it. I'll do some googling and we're an ID pad Chromebook of some variety. And this one was liquid damaged. So what I want to do now is it's been liquid damaged for some time. So I'm using a T4 screwdriver to get into there. And I'll let you know if any of those screws are different. And I'm curious to see they have a leaky drink bottle in a bag. And I'm curious to find out what damage that has done to it to subsequently make, sh make it not power. There may be something viewable, there may be corrosion, there may be no signs at all. Very well may. Yeah, it's all a whole bunch of unknown. Which is one thing I like about repair when you get jobs that you're not sure what's going on. But you want to take a look and find out anyway. Chromebooks, I haven't really used them. I do understand the purpose of them and the reasoning behind them. Cheap disposable computers that don't save any data apart to a, a server. So if anything happens to the computer like this, you can keep going. And your data is perfectly fine. Not everyone needs to play video games, download music. Some people just simply want to write their Word document and get on with school. So I'd say that's probably what the case was here. Go and we are in. What do we see? One small mainboard. Small ish mainboard. And I already see corrosion, which probably means it's probably not going to be too repairable. Let's look at the bottom here and see if we get any signs of it as well. A little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. Flip that over. We are looking at here. A bit of powdery look going on there. Let's dump some isopropyl alcohol on there. Give it a teeth clean. And voila. Just bump my LEDs and set that into a crazy fit. Looking at it now, it's a little bit cleaner, but it's not going to help. Too bad the power button over here is heavily corroded on this connector here. And I like our chances. Disconnect here, move this out of the way, and show you guys. Ooh, we're not looking too good on that flex cable at all. Look at that. We are fairly corroded and fairly ugly. Look at over here. May be okay, may not. Get some alcohol, get some brush. So we're lucky replacing this board and this flex cable may make it usable again if we ignore the damage over here. This side's perfectly healthy. Let's have a look over here. At the difference on the pins. Hopefully the camera's capturing that. This side's nice and clean. This side's nicely corroded. It's looking a little bit better. A bit of dis discoloration going on there. Next up, what I want to do is put ice purple on here. Give it a brush. Hope for the best, pray to the and say some prayers, but I think this cable is pretty toast. To me that's pretty toast. My board. I'm curious if I leave that disconnected and plug in power. It is type C power based. So I'm curious to see happen with that plugged in if there'll be a charge light at all. We have a charge light. That is somewhat promising. 
It's more than I thought it was going to do. Let's proceed. We'll leave this live and just plug this in here. Over there, reconnect. And we still have power. Open it up. Huh. We are waking. I'm curious if the power button had anything to do with that. What I.O. do we have? USB, HDMI, volume up, volume down and power. I don't know how much of that is controlling it. Just leave that for a minute. When it fires up, I will just switch it off to make sure it doesn't show any customer information. So I'm just going to pause the video right here. So, so far, it's loading up. The trackpad is going. The touchscreen is working. Mommy. Need to code to shut down. Oh. And I haven't tried out the USB ports, but the power button on the, over here is functioning as it should. Hold that and tell it to shut down. Mommy. Away we shut down. So it's very much the corrosion here was causing all the pins to jump together. I don't know about volume up and volume down and the USB ports that are here and the HDMI, but I think simply being able to turn it on and use it is going to be a much better outcome than what this previously had. So I'm pretty much going to leave it at that. As I couldn't really recommend replacing here and here if we don't know if the device is going to work properly. So from here I'm just going to basically put it back together and then it'll be, I'll let the customer know that it is powering on once more. Why does it say that? Let's have a look under here. This was the other spot of corrosion. We're looking a little speck of it there, but really not that bad. Very well, maybe higher up on it, but I'll give that a clean anyway. Unplug the power, give that a bit more of a clean, and then I'll put the bottom cover on and away we go. Yeah, well, I've off camera, I just gave it a clean, cleaned, cleaned, cleaned. At least I can't find too many other signs. As I say that, here on the Wi-Fi card, there's a little bit. I don't think that's going to affect it. So I'm going to put this back together. I should just click back in. Click, 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 click. Not sure why that there. There we go. Now yeah, that's clicked all back together. And we'll use that T5 to put all those screws back in. T5 screws, don't really matter where they go, they are of the same length. Why was I say that? Nope, I had to doubt myself for a second there, but I'm pretty sure we're still good. Go. Not happy with that. Anyway, there's really not much in the way of upgradability. Could possibly change the Wi Fi card, don't know if that will upset Chrome OS. Um, you could change the battery if need be. Not much there to change, but overall a non, very non-serviceable laptop. Wi-Fi card, the battery, and the screen can all be potentially replaced. Apart from that, really not much else. But that's typically how Chromebooks are. Cheap, disposable computers. Hope that helps you, and see you later. Bye.